Hello everyone, my name is Brittany Romanowski and today I'm going to be introducing Team Extreme and our ATM interface design. The team members of our team include the team lead, Brittany Romanowski, and the members of the team, Nicholas Arnold, Richard Dooley, and Amran Lucino. Our project topic and goal. Our project topic was an automated teller machine, ATM interface design. Our goal was that we intended to work with the users and ask them how they would expect to see an ATM work. We wanted to create the most user-friendly and high-quality ATM layout that would be usable to the public. I am now going to do a brief overview of the first three phases of our project. Phase 1. The ATM is a very popular interface that people use every day. We chose the ATM because we wanted to design a layout that we thought would be the most conducive to the user's needs. In order to accomplish this, we wanted to incorporate the user as much as possible into our design by taking their feedback and reworking our design to best meet their needs. Phase 2. The demographic of our users of our ATM design is broken down to male and female between the four different grade levels. This includes freshmen, sophomore, junior, and seniors. We picked five males and five females from each grade. This allowed us to test a wider audience. The users were asked about their age and grade before we began our testing. The users were also asked to rate their experience navigating through an ATM. The experience levels ranged from novice to experience. Phase 3. In this phase, we finalized our test plan that will be executed in Phase 4. We chose the View Cafe as our environment to do the testing because ATMs are usually in a very public place, so we wanted to do our testing in an environment to resemble that. We also had the user perform a very basic task. They first were to log into their account, check their account balance, withdraw money, and then check their account balance again. This test was chosen as it is one of the most common actions performed on an ATM. We also had four main member roles in which we determined in Phase 3 leading into Phase 4. There would be a project manager who would be Brittany Romanowski. We also had a tester who would be Nicholas Arnold who would conduct the test. We had an analyst who would be Richard Dooley. He would analyze the results of the test after. And finally, we would have a designer who would be Amarin Lucino, and he would design the interface of the ATM. The last piece we finalized in Phase 3 was the data we intended to collect before and after the test. Before the test, we collected general user data to create a user profile for them. After the test, we collected their feedback as well as their answers to a variety of questions. We would then ask them about their experience with the test. Next, Nick is going to go through the test and what the screens look like for the user. Okay, so our test was pretty simple. It gave the users a chance to navigate through our ATM machine as they normally would in real life. The test begins with them starting up the ATM. Once the ATM has been started up, they will be prompted up with an insert card and PIN number page. Once the PIN number has been correctly inputted, the user will go to the main menu. And the main menu has several options such as deposit, withdraw, transfer money, check balance, cash cash, and sign out. We will first ask them to check their balance. Once they have checked their balance, they will try to withdraw some of that money from that from their account. Once they have successfully withdrawn money, they, we will finally ask them to check their balance again just to make sure that the money has been taken out of the account and everything was done correctly. Now that was our test. I'm now going to show you a step-by-step -step, uh, view of our ATM and what that looks like from the user's point of view. So it begins with the uh, startup page. Welcome to our ATM. Please press enter and continue. So they press enter and they will be prompted up with the please insert card and enter pin number to continue page. We ask them to input the number 8966 as their pin number. Once they have successfully put that number in and press enter, they will be given the main menu. And like I said, uh, this is the main menu where you could have deposit, withdrawal, transfer money, check balance, flash cash, and sign up. We will first ask them to check their balance. And once they have been given the screen, you, they will see their name, their account number, and the, their current balance. We will then ask them to withdraw some of that money from that account. So they will press main menu, and they will press the button withdraw. And it says enter the amount of money that you want to withdraw. So we asked them to withdraw $200. 
So $200 they put in and they press enter. And the withdrawal confirmation page is here. Your previous balance, how much money you withdrew, and your new balance. So we want to make sure that is all correct and everything was done correctly. So we will then finally ask them to check their balance again. So they press main menu and they press check your balance one last time. And they will be given their new balance and that is the end of our test. I will now hand it over to Rich so he can do the summary and conclusion. Out of the 40 users that we have tested, every user was able to complete the test successfully without any assistance from the tester. Some failures, however, are that there are no testers that failed our test based upon our definition of a failure. However, there was some hesitation at times between the wording or button placement, but ultimately they were able to go through the test and complete the task that we asked them without needing assistance. And some of the surprises during the test is that while a lot of people found it easy to go through the test, they were surprised and got nervous when we called the test they had before them a test. And some of the feedback we got during our testing is on the pin number page. People question whether or not they should hit enter to continue to the next page. The reason being is that our wording says please swipe card enter pin to continue. The text never indicated that they need to press enter to continue. So they assumed that it would automatically continue to the next page. And people pointed out that on an ATM machine, you do not swipe a card, you insert the card. And on the main menu page, we labeled the button cancel transaction, but that was causing confusion to people. So we changed it to sign out. And another confusion is that the label button called account balance was causing confusion. And people said change it to account check your balance. And about four people mentioned this during our te testing. The placement of the button account balance was not in the ideal place. A few people were trying to search the entire page for it. It doesn't be on the top of the page, but we put it on the bottom of the page. So we changed that in overall design. And one person mentioned that there's no need to have an account balance page because the ATM machine will print out a receipt listing your amount before, after, and how much you withdrew. In our withdrawal page, there's a, a lot of mix and mash, match between the input for $200. There was, a, there was an even difference between the people inputting 200 and 200 dot zero zero and for and some people putting in twenty thousand dollars the period should be mentioned to make sure that the transaction is correct because there's a difference between putting two hundred and twenty thousand on the withdrawal page we move the period on the button while we're to the, to the bottom of the button so that it doesn't confuse it with a comma. And multiple people said that on the withdrawal page, there should be a button to print a receipt or to automatically print a receipt. And our conclusion is that while not all users think the same, some users navigated through the ATM with ease. While others question the placement of buttons, the question the wording of our text, and we cannot accommodate every person that use our design since a lot of them contradict each other. However, we use we could always work out some of the bugs so that people will be able to be satisfied. Okay everyone, this concludes our team's phase four presentation on our ATM interface design. We'd like to thank you all very much for listening to us, and we would now like to open it up to any questions or comments that you may have on our ATM interface or in any of the phases that we've completed leading us up to this point. Thanks.